Well, uh, hi guys, uh, this is the second video on trigonometry and today we are going to discuss about uh, the trigonometric ratios of standard angles. So what are the standard angles? In the first video, we discuss about uh, the trigonometric ratio and uh, uh, I've told you that any trigonometric ratio without an angle is like a, a cell phone without a software. Okay, so if you don't have any software, then you cannot use your cell phone. Similarly, any trigonometric ratio okay without an angle is meaningless so in uh, the first video uh, we've taken the angle as theta now all this angle has a value for example uh, you can take a value in any value 0 0.2 uh, 100 180 99 okay so we have infinite values all right but standard angle means the angle which we have to know till class 10 Okay, so if you go to, uh, to the further studies, uh, for the further studies, then uh, you have to know uh, everything, okay, from uh, infinite, positive infinity to negative infinity. But till class 10, only the standard angles are important. So what is the standard angle? 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. So these are the standard angles, all right? So we will discuss on this one. Okay, of all the trigonometric ratio one by one. All right, so the first one is your sine. So let's discuss on sine. So sine 0 is off, sine 30 is off. So what are the values? All right, okay. So to do this one, what we do here is we use one method or the rule. Okay, so what you do is you start from 0, you uh, write it in series 0, 1, 2, 3, and now you divide all these values by 4 all right so if you divide all these values by 4 0 divided by 4 is 0 this will be 1 by 4 2 1 the 2 2 is a 4 half 3 by 4 4 and 4 will get cancelled so the value is four. now take the square root of all these values all right so 0 square root of 0 is 0 square root of 1 is 1 square root of 4 is 2 Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 we don't have, square root of 3 is root 3 by 2 and square root of 1 is 1. Now whatever value we get, these are the values of sine. So 0, sine 30 is half, so this is 1 by root 2, so this is root 3 by 2 and 1. Alright, so that means all this, uh, this, this table will be given in the book also, but uh, you know, uh, you no need to memorize it. Okay, if you know the method how to find the values, then it'll be easy for you to do the problem. Okay. Now, so this is the method. All right. Now the second one for cos, it'll be just the opposite of sine. So we'll take the value from the opposite side. So the three by two, then one by root two, then one by two and zero. All right. Now tan. Now tan theta. Actually, we can write it as sine theta by cos theta. This is the only the formula. So sine theta we can write it as tan. Uh, sorry, tan theta we can write it as sine theta by cos theta. Also. Okay. Now to find the tan theta, what we do is it is actually sine by cos. So zero divided by one is zero. One by two divided by root three by two is two. Two will get cancelled, so we we'll get the value one by root three. Now here the whole thing will get cancelled. One. 2, 2 will get cancelled, root 3 by 1, so root 3, 1 divided by 0 is undefined. In, in mathematics, okay, in mathematics, any number, any number divided by 0, okay, this kind of number uh, is not what exists in real math, okay. So for this you need a different mathematics, okay. So we we'll write it, it is undefined. This number is not defined in mathematics. Zero divided by any number is zero. All right. This is acceptable. But any number divided by zero is unacceptable. So it is called undefined. There is not infinity. Don't get confused with this symbol because infinity also we write it like this only. But here it is undefined. So one divided by zero is undefined. Now the next one is cot. Now for cot, uh, it will be the opposite of tan. So you start from undefined root 3, 1, 1 by root 3 and 0. Similarly, cos A. Now what is the reciprocal of cos? Sine. This is what we did in the first video. Yes sir. The reciprocal of cos is sine. 
Now, what will be the reciprocal of one? So, it's reciprocal. So, 0 divided 1, that will go there. It will be undefined because 1 will go up. Yes or no? 0 divided by 1 is 0. So, if it is, uh, it's reciprocal, will be 1 divided by 0, which will be undefined. So, it's reciprocal. 2 will go up, root 2 will go up. Divided by 1, no need to write, alright? So, this will be a 2 by root 3, and 1 divided by 1 is 1. Now, the last one is your, last one is your sec. Now, sec will be opposite of cos x. So, 1, 2 by root 3, then uh, root 2, 2 and 1 divided. So, let's write it again. So, sec will be 1, 2 by root 3, root 2, 2 and 1 divided. Alright? So, with this table, okay, we'll do the sum. Alright? So, let's uh, do some of the examples so that you'll get an idea how to use this table. Alright? Uh, so, please copy the, the, that table uh, in your exercise book or in a paper. Okay? So, uh, let's... Uh, do the example so the first one is find uh, the value of 7 sine 30 degree and cos 60 degree. now what we need, uh, need to do here is we just need to put the value of the sine sine 30 is your 1 by 2 and cos 30 60 is your 1 by 2 so this is your 7 by 2 so this is the answer so you can keep it uh, like this or you can <coughs> write it in mixed fractions and the second one cos uh, 45 so cos 45 is 1 by root 2 but here we have square so we'll put it square here uh, cos 60 is uh, root 3 by 2 sorry sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is 1 by 2 all right now square of 1 is 1 square root and this will get cancelled so 2 uh, here most of the people will get can, uh, confused they cancel this one so they write uh, the value as 3 by two, uh, 4 2 which is wrong so what we need to do here is we cancel this one so 3 but this is square is also for 2 so this will be a 4 so this is 1 by 4 now let's take the LCM 4 so this is 2 plus 3 plus 1 this is 4 by 2 to the 4 2 3 to the 6 so 3 by 2 is the it says that uh, from the given figure, so this is the given figure, so this uh, is your y, this is your x degree, this is your root 3, and this is your 1. Uh, so from uh, the given figure, we need to find tan x number 2. We need to find the value of x, then number 3, we need to find cos x and Number four it says that using sine x theta find so this is what you find. All right now so uh, tan theta is so first this is a ninety degrees so opposite of this is your hypotenuse now this is your perpendicular and this is your base all right because the opposite. Uh, uh, the side opposite to the given angle is a perpendicular. Okay, so tan means turn permanently black. So P is your root 3 divided by 1. So the value is root 3. So tan x is root 3. So this is the answer. The number 2. So how we find x? Now we can use this value to find x because tan x is equal to root 3. The tan x is equal to now we just need to go through the table. Now uh, what value of tan is root 3? Uh, tan 60 degree is root 3. Now, actually we cannot cancel tan and tan. But what we can do here is we can relate or we can equate equating the angles. So x is equal to 60 we can write. Alright. For example, if sin x is equal to sin 90, then we can compare the angle and write x equals to 90 but if it is sine x is equals to sec 30 now here now since the trigonometric ratios are not same so here we cannot compare okay so we can compare only and only if the trigonometric ratios are same tan tan cot cot sine sine all right the x is 30 now we can easily find the value of cos x because we got the value of x which is 60 so which is so cos 60 is half, alright? Using sin x to find y.
Now, we know that sine sum people have. Now, sine, the value of x is 60 degree. Now, p, p is your root 3 and h is your root. Now, what is the value of sine 60? This is your root 3 by 2. Sine 60 is root 3 by 2. Now, if you cross multiply, then this will be your y root 3 is equals to 2 root 3. Now, this root 3 will go down. Now, root 3 root 3 will get cancelled. So, the value of y is 2. Okay. So, this is how we... So, another, another example, it says that um, given 2 sine 3 theta is equals to root 3, find the value of theta and number 2 find cos theta. Okay, so this is what is given in the question. Okay, now what we can do here is, uh, since this is angle, so we can do anything, but this is outside, uh, I mean, not the part of the angle, so this is outside. So what we can do here is, we can cross multiply this. Okay, now here also we compare the angle, but to compare the angle here also the value has to be sine. The sine, how much is root 3 by 2? So sine 60 is your root 3 by 2. Now we can compare the angle, now the whole thing is your angle. Now comparing the angle, 3 theta is equal to 60. Now the theta is equal to 60 by 3, so this is 20. So the value of theta is 20 degree. So theta is 20, we got the answer. Then number 2. So cos, uh, so let's write it, cos 3 theta, 3 theta, so this is cos, sorry, 3 into 20, which is cos 60 degree, so this is, alright, so this is how we saw, okay. Now in the next uh, video, we'll discuss about the complementary angle.